Okay, so here we're multiplying three numbers in scientific notation. Right, we have 6 times 10 to the third, 4.6 times 10 to the fifth, and 2 times 10 to the negative second. If you think about this, since we're multiplying everything, we're finding the product, we have a lot of flexibility, right? We're multiplying, we can associate and commute the numbers around to get whatever product we want. In other words, I can say, let me multiply 6 and 4.6 and 2 before I do anything else. So 6 times 2 times 4.6. And then I'm going to multiply that by the powers of 10. So we have 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 5th times 10 to the negative 2nd, right? I can regroup this however I like since the only thing I'm doing is multiplying. I'll deal with the powers of 10 first because all we're going to do there is add the exponents. When we're multiplying, we add those exponents, and that'll be 10 to the 6th. And we're almost done. Now 6 times 2 is 12, and then we're multiplying 12 by 4.6, right? And we can multiply it like this, but I'm going to break it up a little bit. 4 times 12 is 48. 6 times 12, right, is 72. However, it's really 0.6 times 12, so that's 7.2. And let me just reshuffle that, 7.2. This is my way, I love this way of adding where you break the numbers apart and, and think of them instead of just blindly following the algorithm. Um, you, you break it up in pieces. Anyway, um, 55.2, add them up. So now we have 55.2 times 10 to the 6th. Well, here I could divide this number by 10 and make it 10 times smaller. I want that first number to be between 1 and 10. Um, this is not in scientific notation, right? The first number has to be between 1 and 10, of course, not including 10. So we multiply by a tenth, same thing as dividing by 10, and balance that out by multiplying by 10. Divide and multiply. So again, I'm, I'm multiplying everything so I can regroup. So I think of these two first. A tenth of 55.2 is 5.52. Just move that decimal to the left. And here, 10 times 10 to the 6th is 10 to the 7th. And we have our answer. All right, hope this helped.